In this video, we're going to replace the fuel pump in this 2013 Hyundai Elantra. It's located underneath your back seat. You'll have to pull up the bottom portion of your rear seat. With a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Set that aside. All right, so we're going to remove the rear seat. We're going to pull straight up on the front. There's two clips in the front. All right, so to fold the rear seats down, we're going to open the trunk and we're going to pull on these two tabs that say pull. One's going to be a left, one's going to be a right. Rear seat release. There's one. There's the other. Now we can fold our rear seats down. Now between the rear seat and the trunk, underneath the carpet, there'll be two bolts we have to get to. With your seats folded forward and your carpet liner pulled back, you can see three sets of bolts. One, two, three. Your rear seat bottom is held in by the middle one. It's gonna be a 12 millimeter bolt. You're gonna look for the same style bolt in that hook on the driver's side. 12 millimeter, just like the passenger side. All right, so now we can remove our bottom portion of the rear seat. All right, so now we're gonna lift up the rear portion of our rear seat, both sides, driver and passenger. Now with the two bolts in the back, two clips in front pulled up, now you can lift up and rotate out your rear seat. You can see here, these are the hooks that your bolts are gonna be in behind your rear seat. So these are the hooks you're gonna be looking for. So we're going to remove this cover. We're going to use a couple different tools, panel tools, pry tools. This cover is held on by some adhesive. All right, once you have cover free, you have a nest. All right, so we're going to do before we vacuum it out so we can move this cover a little better is just disconnect our electrical connections. We have two. I'm just going to grab this clip and pull up. And pull back on our plug. We're going to do the same thing here. There's a clip on this side. I'm just going to push it in. Pull up on our clip. Now we can move this cover out of the way. Just be careful with this adhesive. You don't want it to get stuck in the carpet. Now that we've vacuumed out around our fuel pump area, we're sure that to the best of our ability, no debris is going to fall in this area. What you want to do now with your two electrical connections disconnected, go back up to the front, reconnect your negative battery terminal, run the vehicle until it stops on its own. You'll be relieving the fuel pressure. So when you disconnect the lines, it doesn't spray everywhere. All right, so now we'll connect the negative terminal.
and set that aside. All right, so now we're gonna disconnect our fuel hoses from the fuel pump. I'm gonna start with this hose here. You can see there's a blue tab in the middle of this one. I'll press that down and pull back onto our hose. It will be a little bit of gas that comes out of there. Hopefully if you've followed these steps, it won't be gushing out. There's two clips holding around the ring. I'm going to use a small pocket screwdriver and just push these clips aside. So now we're going to squeeze and pull backwards like so. can move that line out of the way also. We're going to use a flathead screwdriver. And we're just going to gently pry up a couple of these tabs the best we can. And then we'll see if we can get it to rotate like that. All right, so once you've gotten it to rotate and unlock, you can lift it off. You're gonna have to work a little awkward because you have a couple of hoses and connections in the way. Just take your time. What you can also do at this point, since you have a nice hold on it, is go ahead and lift your pump straight out. Before you do that, this is the point where you want to make sure you have some absorbent pads, rag, pan. You're going to have a lot of fuel come out depending on what's in your tank. So we have some pads down. Go ahead and lift our pump straight out. So your, your top ring of your pump that seats on the top is offset from the actual pump itself. So it won't come straight out. You're going to have to do a little manipulation, a little rotating to find that sweet spot. All right, you can see the problem with our float, which is why we're replacing it. All right, so a little assembly required on your new fuel pump. Pretty simple, we're gonna attach our float. You can see there's an angle to the arm. It's gonna go in here and you're gonna press it into those two clips. Now once that's clipped into place, you wanna make sure you have free and easy rotation of the arm and no binding and no hangups. This looks pretty good. All right, we're ready to go to the vehicle. We can take our old gasket out. Again, there's some debris that we weren't able to get to. You wanna make sure you're trying to avoid letting it drop into the tank. We're ready for our new fuel pump. So first things first, let's install that green O-ring. Now the easiest way to do this is to angle it in and put your float in first taking care and caution of not damaging this arm when you reinstall it. So we're gonna move this line aside. We're gonna angle in and drop in our float and our pump assembly. Keep working it in slowly, trying not to put any too much pressure on one side or the other. Put our lock ring back on. It'll only go on one way. The lip in the middle will go up. Keeping pressure on the pump. I'm gonna work it over this hose connection first. And we can set our lock ring on top. Pushing back down.
All right, as soon as you get just a little bit of play on that ring to lock it in and do that, it'll hold it down. All right, so with the plastic tool, we are going to spin our locking ring on. All right, so now that you have your lock ring down, we're gonna reconnect our hoses. It's just as simple as push them back on until you hear a click. Just pull backwards and make sure it's not going anywhere. Same thing on this side. All right, with those connected, we can move on to our electrical connections. We can connect up our electrical connections to the pump. Connection one and two. All right, with those connected, we can move to the front of the vehicle after we Push this cap back down. We're just going to give it a little extra. Seal. All right, so now we'll connect the negative terminal. When you go to start your vehicle after you've put your fuel pump in and everything's connected back up, put your ignition key in, turn it two clicks forward, wait a couple of seconds, put it in the run position. Let your car run for a minute or two, then you can shut it back off, and we can work on reinstalling our rear seat. On the bottom of the rear seat, you have these pins, these U-shaped pins. These are gonna go in here. But first, we're gonna line in, and we're gonna put in the back, then the front. While we're putting the back in, we're gonna guide our seat belts into their respective slots. Once you have the back in place, you can feel underneath there and see if your pins are lined up and just push down. Give it a little tug up, make sure they're in. Now we can drop the rear seats and put our bolts back in. These are the tabs that you're looking for on the back of your seat. Make sure they're lined up. We'll go ahead and start our bolts by hand. It's a 12 millimeter socket, we'll tighten them down. We'll start our bolt by hand. And again, 12 millimeter socket, tighten them down. Because we moved our trunk mat backwards, all we have to do now is pull this back into place, fold up our seats, and we're done. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.